I'm going to start with need recall of tal MCQs. So the question that was there was patient present with the following fields. This field picture was shown. And they had asked for what does this represent? So the answer to this was that it represents enlarged blind spots. Take an alternate field defect. This is not arcuate field defects. This is not Rhone's field defect also. So this was the enlarged blind spots. Okay. Moving on to the next question, question number two. Honor syndrome involves which muscle? That was the correct answer here was Muller's muscle. And next question, question number three, the patient was made to wear red green goggles. And is my right eye suppression was shown. Okay, this was the image which was shown. Okay, where the patient was seeing three green lights. Okay, and I'm sorry, but just give me a second. Okay, this was the image for right eye suppression. Okay, move on to next question, question number four, thyroid eye disease, which amongst the following is false? It's when the, the choices are improved on treatment of thyroid status. Vision loss may be seen in some cases. 10% may be youth thyroid representation and no spec classification is used. The correct answer here was improves on thyroid status. This is false. Okay, I've repeatedly told that it is an antigen antibody reaction. Okay, so uh, that I have repeatedly told in my lectures, the antigen antibody reaction will represent only after the steroid use. Okay, it has no relation with the thyroid side of the patient. Okay. The next question, question number five. This image was shown, which was a uh, lipodermoid. Some patients, some students are telling it was a lipodermoid. Some students are telling it was a dermolipoma, a limbal dermoid. Okay. So, uh, this is a confusion there. I think it was a uh, limbal dermoid which was shown to you. So, the image which was shown in the right, this is the limbal dermoid and this is the dermolipoma. Okay. Next question, question number six in history of nectalopia was given and they had asked, the, they had given the image like this and the correct answer for this was retinitis pigmentosa. Okay. In next question, question number seven, a patient presented after cataract surgery five years with decrease in vision and this kind of image was shown. This image is depicting characteristically Elsnick's pearls. This is a PCO, posterior capsular perfusion, which is also called as a secondary cataract or after cataract treatment is NDR capsulotomy. This we have done repeatedly in our class. This was a very, very simple sitting question. Okay. Next question, there was a history of trachoma and they had asked you to identify the image. Okay, this is the image that was shown. This represents Herbert Pitts. Okay, see these are the pit-like images. So these are the pits that have been shown. On and tranta spots are elevated spots like this. So do not get confused. I have repeatedly shown these two images. Both have been discussed in the class. So this was Herbert Pitts. Okay. Question number nine, a two-month-old baby presents with following image. What is the best treatment possible? They had given an image of a child with cataract of both eyes. Repeatedly, I have told that immediate surgery is the best treatment because if you do not treat, there is always a chance of employer pair setting in. So best is to treat as soon as possible, as soon as feasible. That is the treatment for cataract surgery. Okay. Next question, there was probably a question on glaucoma also which said, when do we perform surgery for congenital glaucoma? Okay. 
So even if for congenital glaucoma, the treatment is immediate. Okay. Hmm. Glaucoma is also a disease where the longer you leave it, the more is going to be the corneal uh, damage, more is going to be the endothelial damage. So the best treatment for glaucoma is also surgical because it is 90% damage that is uh, there because of the trabecular outcrop blockage. So best treatment is again surgery as soon as possible. For both congenital cataract and congenital glaucoma, the treatment is surgery as soon as possible. Okay. Next question, they had shown a patient presented with painful diminution of vision with photophobia and circumcorneal congestion. There they had shown this hyperpion and a small pupil like this. This is very characteristic of an acute anterior uveitis. Okay. So this pupil is myosed. Glaucoma may you will not have any hyperpion. That is not there. In conjunctivitis also, you will not have any hyperpion. Okay. So this was very characteristic question. Again, a sitting question. I believe the questions have been very, very simple and straightforward. Just application of some uh, mind was required. Now, next question, a child with an intraocular mass with leukocoria. This flexed them with the rosettes on cytopathology. Correct answer is retinoblastoma. This was again, flexed them with the rosette. Very simple question with leukocoria. Again, all questions are very simple. Now, they had shown this image where they had shown a nodule with the episcleritis. Okay. This is episcleritis associated with rheumatoid arthritis. This was again a question which was very simple and this had been asked in your previous year questions also where they asked about blanching of images, blanching of the vessels. So this is what the episcleritis is which we have done in our class. Okay. Next was a patient presented with history of episode of pain after going to movie theatre. What treatment option is best? So after movie theatre, the attack that precipitates is a acute anglosia glaucoma attack. For the treatment of acute glaucoma, we have done that you have to give mannitol first, followed by the topical therapy in pilocarpine. Okay. This is because until unless you give mannitol, the IOP will not come down and there is going to be a receptor level ischemia. Okay. So the correct answer is mannitol followed by pilocarpine. Now, there was some question, medicine question, where they had shown an image of the KF ring. Dr. Dilip sir will be taking this question most probably. But this KF ring, the serum cerebroplasmin levels are to be checked. So this is the question which was overlap between medicine and ophthalm. So rest of the choices are not been able to catch up. I'll most probably make a proper video later on. Now, just now I came to know there was a history of a question on contact lens user with using water to wash the contact lenses with spike-like organism. The correct answer was acanthamiga. Okay. And one final question which was there. A suprasemal tumor showing in the MRI image in which the following visual field defect was shown. This is the field defect both on the same side. So this is the homonymous hemianopia. It is not a bitemporal. Bitemporal would have been opposites. One for on the right side, one for the left side. Since it is both on the same side, so this is a homonymous hemianopia. Okay. So these were the ophthalm questions that I have been able to catch up till now. Okay. I hope you have been able to answer them well. And you have done your best. And soon, meet you soon with the proper answers of the choices again. Okay. All the best.